What is up guys, it is Gamer here, back again with a Dragon Ball Super episode review. Uh, I'm recording this on uh, Christmas, on the well, the 25th of, uh, for, for Christmas, like Christmas Eve, like the last video, uh, at 4.30 at night, so uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this later on in the day. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we're here to talk about Dragon Ball Super episode 72, and basically is the result of... Uh, what happened with the rest of the fight against Goku and Hit, and basically, who was the one who hired Hit to kill Goku? And uh, you're gonna, if you haven't watched the the episode or you have just haven't heard at all, just whatever and stuff like that, just, uh, you're gonna be in for a little bit of a surprise because, uh, well, we'll get into that in uh, in a little bit. But basically, uh, the, uh, the episode begins off the recap. Stuff like that. Goku dies. Uh, he dies, and uh, we we do find out that he he is dead. He's not moving, and the eyes do insinuate that, that he is dead. And uh, there is basically almost no way for him to become uh, to come back to life uh, through Piccolo, through Gohan, through anybody, unless they had his Dragon Balls, which uh, I, I would guess they didn't. They wouldn't want to do because Dragon Balls, you know, they're kind of there. And besides, when was the last time they even used it anyway? You know, it, it hasn't been like a full year since, uh, since they last used the Dragon Balls. And so basically, uh, Piccolo, he's there. He's trying to revive him like he did with Gohan back in Frieza Saga. Or the Resurrection F Saga, I'm sorry. If you remember that episode, if you remember that scene, I remember that scene because I think it's bullshit. <laughs> or rather, it was in the movie. It was rather in the movie, never mind. It's like... It's like... <laughs> The reason why I say it's bullshit is because it's like, why is that available for Piccolo to do now when he could have, when he, when did he learn how to fucking do that, you know? That could have helped out a lot of other fucking times, but no, he only learned how to do it now. Anyways, <laughs> uh, it starts off the episode, uh, go on, uh, go to and Piccolo, they're standing there, they're trying to bring him back, they're sad, they're upset. And then, if you remember in the previous ep in the previous episode, uh, Goku had actually shot off a, a key blast. Sorry if you hear my fan in the back. I apologize for that. Uh, it's not that it's really loud. It's just that the wind's pl blowing towards my mic. So I apologize for that. So he uh, he shoots off a key blast right into the air, and for whatever reason, that starts heading uh, back towards where Goku had shot it initially. It hits him direct straight in the fucking chest, and it brings him back to life. And then uh, he's like, I think I figured out uh, Hit's move and stuff like that. He thinks he figured out Hit's move. And so he starts fighting Hit again, and miraculously, uh, surprisingly, actually, not really, but surprisingly, he, he did find a, a, a way to counteract his attacks. And basically, he goes off to, he goes off to different places, two different places, which is uh, a woods with trees and stuff like that. And then uh, just some random rocky terrain next to the fucking ocean and then basically they're fighting uh hits is basically um uh, he's untouchable he's untouchable he's virtually invincible because of this new whole different thing with uh with his time skip and for people who are confused about the time skip uh in the actual in the episode itself vadas explains to champa that the time skip ability that hit has it's not that he uh, is that he freezes time. It's rather that he skips through time itself. It's really confusing, but basically what he does is that he kind of just creates this whole other parallel world that he can move around really freely if, if he wants to, as long as he wants, and then go and then he can go back in and basically just do an attack. It's really weird. I know. It's, it's, it's really confusing as well. I was really confused by it as well. And Champa even says it himself, it's so amazing that I can't even understand it. I thought that was really funny. And then uh, we have a little comedic uh, part of the episode where uh, Vegeta's trying to get out of his training and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't really understand why he was trying to get out of his training, but he was trying to get out of his training with Whis. And then uh, Vegeta's like, I'll, I'll give you steak. And 
uh, Weiss was like, no, I want you to give me something that I never had. And he's like, steak with grandma's secret sauce or some shit. And then Weiss is like, yeah, I want that. And so they go back to Earth. Uh, Beerus, uh, Weiss, and Vegeta are there. And they're watching Goku hit fight. And the entire time, uh, Goku's just trying to figure out how to fucking get a fucking... Trying to get contact with, with Hit so he can actually punch the shit out of him. But let alone, he does this fucking thing where he does he creates a gigantic fucking sphere of fucking aura of his aura and stuff like that he goes through the parallel uh world that hit can go through and walk around freely to it shatters it it shatters it shatters it and stuff like that and he shoots up just to come out of blast and stuff like that and then uh that, that basically summons up the fight because after that it was over and then uh vegeta is questioning kakarot like oh you enjoy fighting hit uh, more than uh, more than myself. That's what Vegeta was talking about. And then uh, Goku was like, "No, it's not that. It's just that he was going for my life. I had to. I had to do it. It was. It was under defense. You know. It was self defense." But um, we didn't find out who was the one who hired Hit to go and kill Goku. We find out who it is, and if you uh, haven't caught on, uh, you probably there's probably no way you could have caught on. But if you couldn't tell, it was Goku himself. He hired Hit through Whis, and then Whis told his sister Vados to go and hire Hit uh, anonymously to go and kill Goku. The reason why Goku uh, hired Hit to go uh, kill himself uh, is because he wanted Hit to go fight Goku at his best. He wanted Hit to fight Goku at his best without knowing the fact that Goku was actually the one who hired to kill him. Which technically he did, but uh, I guess it doesn't count because earlier in the episode, uh, he's, he's like, no, there's like a three second rule. What is it? Bullshit. You died. Like, fuck off. <laughs> but uh, that ends up the episode. Uh, that's the finale of the episode. And then we go off to the next, uh, the next episode preview. And I don't know when the next arc is coming, guys. I, I, I kind of want to say that it's going to be in uh, the next uh, up and coming week or two weeks maybe but basically just uh, this next episode basically it's just it, Gohan's in a little bit of predicament where he has to become the great Saiyan man because basically he's going to be a stunt man for a great Saiyan man movie which I don't know why they're doing this fucking episode but hey I, I, I guess it's, it's because we're still trying to get away from all the future trunk stuff and stuff like that I guess it's what they're trying to do it's just whatever, I don't really mind. It's just that, uh, come on, I want to get to the next arc already. Jesus. But, that that's the end of the episode, really. I have nothing else, really, to say about this episode, other than the fact that uh, uh, we, we figured out who Hit, uh, who Hit was hired by. Uh, we figured uh, we figured out uh, just a whole bunch of stuff that I don't, wanna really, I really, I don't really want to talk about. But, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end off the video now, and, and wrap up just everything in general but if you guys enjoyed this shitty fucking video that i always make every single week uh go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and uh drop a like on the video and uh leave a comment uh saying uh what was what, saying what what do you think's gonna be like the main importance in the next episode i guess i don't fucking know just leave you leave your bullshit comments of what you want you want to leave is bullshit Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy, because I would highly appreciate that. Uh, that would be a wonderful Christmas gift to me, because I will I will try to be up I will try to upload this in Christmas. I will try to do that. But um, also subscribe if you need the channel, because uh, it would mean a lot a lot to me if you guys can help me grow on uh, this channel. Uh, I would really appreciate it. But uh, anyways, uh, I hope you guys have uh, a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to uh, Drop a like, like uh, once again. Subscribe to the channel. I'll go ahead and see you in the next video next week, or maybe in the next upcoming days, because uh, uh, I might I might do something else that's different. But anyways, uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you later in the next video. Peace out, guys.